For the next two slides, you might want to open a Wikipedia page. HPE supports something called the CNSA Suite. And what that stands for is the Commercial National Security Algorithm Suite. It provides the highest level of cryptography in the market today. So it might make us seem a little OCD, but if we can provide this level of security on servers that are price competitive with the servers from other vendors that don't have that level of security, that seems like an easy call. I know this feels like death by acronym, but we're almost done. HPE also supports something called NIST 853. And what that stands for is National Institute of Standards and Technology. It provides the highest governmental regulations for hardware and software. So effectively, if you're an HPE customer, we treat you like you're a three-letter agency of the federal government. We're going to provide you the highest security possible. Eventually, all systems reach their useful end of life, and then the disposal of the system becomes the next security issue. Now, I don't know about you, but when I throw away a laptop or a tablet, even though I follow the instructions on how to scrub the drive, there's a part of me that's a little concerned that somebody out there is smart enough to recover the data that I'd rather keep private. Now, imagine the stakes for your data center, if that data ever got recovered. That's a huge issue. So again, that's where NIST comes into play. We follow the guidelines so that the, the disposal of your systems continues to protect you against cybercrime. So here's the thing. Nobody's got a blank check for security. No matter how big the threat is, it's, it's hard to increase IT budgets exponentially. But I think what you see with Windows Server 2016 and the new servers from HPE, there's a lot of security that didn't exist with legacy environments that can go a long way to protecting you against cybercrime. So I'd encourage you, reach out to your local contacts for HPE and for Microsoft. Come up with a plan. Thank you so much for your time. And I'm sorry for all the acronyms.